Hello guys, welcome to the second episode of Machine Learning Mornings. In this episode, I want to tell you about my journey in machine learning. So I remember when I was in college at IIT Madras and uh, it was I think the third or fourth year of my college uh, time that uh, there was this big wave of ML. Students had started to take uh, uh, courses in machine learning. There was a very popular course at that time being taught by uh, Professor Ravindran and a lot of students started to take that course. Uh, at that time, I was of the mindset that okay, people are rushing to ML but uh, I am interested in fluid mechanics so I am going to stick to that. Every single person in my wing used to discuss about machine learning, uh, a competition in ML which they, uh, which they took part in, a uh, hackathon in ML which they took part in etc. So, uh, and this became a resume point. They used to take these courses and add it in the resume and then uh, apply for machine learning companies and data science companies during their placements. And this actually led to a lot of uh, job offers for these students as well. I often used to wonder during that time that uh, you have spent the first three years of your college degree in a core field and then suddenly in the last year you are getting four or five months of knowledge in ML and completely changing your field of study and that somehow didn't make sense to me uh, and I did not learn ML at all at that time. Uh, I went ahead and I started to pursue my PhD at Purdue. Uh, it was during that time uh, I clearly remember I was presenting my work at a conference uh, in the second year of my PhD when I realized that in my conference room there were barely 10-15 people and I could see that the entire flock of people were migrating towards some specific rooms. And guess what was common among all these rooms? In every single room, the presenter was giving the topic which had some component of machine learning in it. And that was the time when I started to feel left out. Uh, I started to feel left out and uh, I thought I have done a lot of good work. My papers are getting published in some excellent and reputed journals. but. There is no one to hear my talk and that was the time I thought uh, okay let us begin this ML journey but I am going to do it my way I am not going to just follow the herd. So the first thing I did was that I took up a course at Purdue which was taught by this excellent professor Elias uh, Bilionis and the name of this course was uh, data analytics for scientists and engineers and uh, this was one of the best course I have taken in my life. It really changed the way I think about data analysis, data visualization and machine learning. Uh, this professor had a very unique way of teaching. After every course lecture, he used to give us uh, an assignment which was uh, a Google Colab notebook. And this was a pre-filled Google Colab notebook. So we had to make some changes in the courses and run the entire notebook. The clever part about designing this notebook was that we used to get a feeling that we have done so much and uh, there was a very nice balance of rigor and simplicity to this notebook. So uh, eventually I started to understand every single line of code and I used to get a lot of satisfaction that I am doing these real life problems uh, uh, through Google Colab. So theory had a place in the course and practical was equally important. And that was how I started my data analysis and machine learning journey. And then from that point on, there was no looking back. I started to take a lot of courses and then I started to do research also, which integrated machine learning with my core field of fluid mechanics. Uh, so I wanted to share this uh, story with all of you. Every single story of us will be unique and we'll be on our own journeys. My story is unique in the sense that uh, I did not catch the wave when it was happening. I did it a bit late. Uh, I realized that machine learning is nothing but a core and foundation mathematics, which I was really good at. I used to love uh, deriving uh, proofs, theorems. I used to love thinking critically on a specific problem. And that really helped me understand the mathematics behind machine learning at a very deep level. And then I developed a inherent liking towards the entire field itself. I started to get a lot of satisfaction when I started to see these algorithms run on some real life models and real life problems. And uh, yeah, so now uh, I'm a part of uh, 
this wonderful organization Vijwara, and we are doing a lot of cutting edge research in AIML. And uh, I have still kept the core field of fluid mechanics uh, intact. We are doing some problems in the field of uh, scientific machine learning as well. So uh, I hope uh, this was useful to all of you, and uh, we'll see you in the in the next episode of Machine Learning Mornings. Thank you.